Hey guys, welcome back to Burns' Math Club. Today we'll be learning about the associative property of multiplication. So in our previous video, we learned about the associative property of addition. Now these two properties are pretty much the same thing because both of them state that it doesn't matter how you group your terms, you're gonna, still going to get the same answer. So when it comes to multiplication, no, it doesn't matter how you're going to group your terms, you're still going to get the same product. So let's say that we have an example. So we'll use variables. Let's say that we have a times b times c and if we want to group these we can put parentheses around them so we can let's say that a and b are in parentheses so this tells us that we have to multiply a and b first and then uh, multiply that by c now i can also rewrite this as a times b times c and this time put b and C in parentheses. So I'm still going to get the same answer. Because if I go ahead and use numbers now, let's say that I have 4 times 3 times 2, and I have in the first one, I have 3 and 4 in parentheses. I can also rewrite this as 4 times 3 times 2, and this time I'll put 3 and 2 in parentheses. Now if I go ahead and do the multiplication, I'm still going to get the same answer because 4 times 3 is 12, times 2 is 24. And remember, the parentheses tells us that we have to multiply that first. Okay, so the next one, 3 times 2 is 6, times 4 is 24. And our answer is correct. So these are just three terms. Let's go ahead and do another example. This time, let's use four terms. So that way, we have an idea of how we can do it with more, more than three terms. So let's say that we have b times a times e times f and we have a and e in parentheses i can rewrite this as b times a times e times f and i can put e and f in parentheses i'll still get the same answer so if i go ahead and use numbers i'll say two times and then parentheses six times one and then times three is equal to two times six in parentheses times 1 times 3. So if I go ahead and do the multiplication, I know that 6 times 1 is 6, times 2 is 12, times 3 is 36. And 2 times 6 is 12, times 1 is 12, 12 and then times 3 is 36. And therefore, our answer is correct. And so that's all there is to the associative property of multiplication. So it's pretty much the same thing as the associative property of addition. It's just that the, when you are stating the property, you're just going to say that it doesn't matter how you're going to group your terms, you're still going to get the same product. And so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.